Get your head around it, isn't it? So, Richo, just a final thought. This is a, it, it feels bigger than a Group 3, doesn't it? It certainly does, Bruce. Uh, it is a Group 3, but uh, it's D-Day for the champ in Shinzo, a two-year-old champ. And then where do the others push forward? Also, Bruce, worth noting, just news coming through about the late scratching of Autumn Angel coming up in the Group 1 Vinery Stud Stakes, uh, just for some of those that missed that. Jamie Carr now without a mount in the Vinery Stud Stakes. And, of course, Tom Kitten out for her earlier today in the tank, so she doesn't have a ride in either of the Group 1 races, and that would have been the main incentive for her to come up today. Oh, I think another will would have been uh, oh, the one that no, she would definitely oh, be coming no, up for. <laughs> actually, you've, you've absolutely gazumped me on that one, Lizzie. I'm going to bow to that, because uh, I think I think she was thinking a week in advance. No, but she's going to ride Southport Tycoon, isn't she, In the uh, at the moment? in the? Okay, anyway, we'll talk about that later. So Richo might even know about all those jockey bits, because I know that that was where she was going with Southport Tycoon. Let's see if another wheel wins and then we can worry about all of that. Um, if I've got one wish, I really want Shinzo to run well. I really want him to run well here. Here we go. Here's Darren Flindell. The outside slot and the light is on. We're ready to go. Stand by for a break. Hawaii 5 0, the favourite. And they're racing. He was one of the last out. Hawaii 5 0. And Malkovich began very fast. Zoo Tiger jumped well and Cole Crusher with his ears written off in the early part. But Malkovich will lead. Butch Cassidy goes to fourth and Shinzo into a clear fifth. Then Libertad on the inside of Hawaii 5 0. Uh, deeper out there is Bandy's boy. Two lengths further back to Rocketing by M and cast a little bit deep, followed by Roots, then came Brigantine. Further back to Omni Man, Lavish Empire and Key Largo is the last one. Malkovich trying to steady them up here. Zoo Tiger up on the outside. Cole Crusher leaders back. Then Butch Cassidy, Shinzo three back the fence. Then came Hawaii 5-0 and a gap to the rest as they turn. It's Malkovich swinging the corner in front by two lengths now. On Zoo Tiger and Cole Crusher. Butch Cassidy pulling out. Shinzo pulling out. And Hawaii 5-0 not travelling well. Airman getting right to the outside. Malkovich at the 200. Two lengths clear from Cole Crusher, Butch Cassidy, Zoo Tiger. Then Bandy's Boy running on. It's Malkovich in front of Bandy's Boy. Malkovich, Bandy's Boy. Bandy's Boy goes to Malkovich and got up. Bandy's Boy claims a Group 3 en route to the Country Championship final next week. Running down Malkovich and Roots charged home on the inside for third. Then came Butch Cassidy, Cole Crusher, rocketing by Brigantine, Lavish Empire, Shinzo is plain, then Zoo Tiger, Airman, Libertad, and Hawaii Five O's pulled up short. Well, what about that? As uh, Darren said, goes to the country championships. Million dollar race, 1,400. This is the lead-in run for Dally Williams. Jay Ford, the rider of takeover target fame. And absolutely blouse. It was money for it, actually. Uh, it was in the market. Malkovich has run super. Roots has been terrific. Thought Shinzo had his chance. A Y50 will be improved. But... Boy, oh boy, it's going to be hard to beat at Randwick next week on the first day of the championships. He certainly is. Geez, that was a race where there was plenty of speed. I reckon a few bubbles have certainly burst after that performance. Uh, you can see that Bandy's boy was finding the line nicely. A horse that I need to say has improved or come back a little bit better or bounce back into form is Malkovich. He was really good. He wanted the lead. He didn't let Cole Crusher have any chance of getting that pole position.